Hey everyone, it's Kirsten and I completely did not want to take an ice bath tonight because uh, it took us a few hours to eat and get to the hotel and so I would already pretty much gotten warm and cozy in my clothes and I've been hanging out in the hotel but I forced myself to do it because my joints were really sore after the race today and I still want to feel good tomorrow when I do my seventh marathon in seven days. So I'm sitting in the ice bath and I figured I'd make my race report video for day six to get my mind off of how flipping cold it is. So anyway, so sorry if I start shivering. I'm, I feel like the video is shaking because I'm, I'm shivering right now. So anyway, here it goes. So today we did the, um, our sixth day was in Dalton, Georgia. And just like the previous five days, perfect temperatures. It's cold in the morning, maybe 48 or so, and then warmed up to in the um, low 70s by the end of the marathon. So actually really perfect. And it said 100% humidity, but it didn't feel like 100% humidity. I don't know. I don't live in humidity. I was definitely sweating a lot, but I've been doing a really good job on taking my salt capsules, which has made it so I have had no issues at all. Um, other than I'm starting to have a little bit of GI stress. I had a little all along each day, but um, it's progressively getting a little worse, so it's kind of like a low-grade nausea. Um, but I'm sticking with um, my plan because it feels really good. And uh, anyway, so race today, I woke up and I, we stayed at friend's house again last night, so we had to drive an hour and a half, so I had to wake up early, and I didn't sleep well again last night. So the thing that is uh, making it hardest for me through this whole series right now is I am exhausted. Um, not like muscles or um, anything like that, but like sleepy. Like you can probably tell my eyes are really um, puffy and red. I'm just really sleepy. I just haven't been sleeping very much or, or very well. So that's been the hardest part for me. So sleeping and then a little bit of my digestive issues. So hold on. I'm trying to grab some ice for my dog. He's here. Say hi, Joey. He loves um, eating ice, so he likes when I take ice baths. So anyway, um, so, so I was just really tired this morning, but I felt not too bad. My knees were a little achy, and my calves have been sore the last couple days. So um, I rubbed, my friend Kim gave me this um, stuff from Young Living, like sports gel, so I rubbed that on it this morning, put on my compression tights, and by the time we got to the race, um, they actually felt a lot better. So I ended up um, starting off nice, easy jog to see what it felt like. Luckily, the course was literally flat as a pancake. So I kind of, you know, shuffled along to decide to see how I felt and ended up after the first loop feeling really good. So I'm like, I'm just going to keep running. So about mile 10, 8 or 10, I started picking it up a little because I felt good. And I actually ended up running with this girl who was really fast. And we were chit-chatting. And I, she was only doing the half. So I was kind of excited for her to finish because I was pushing myself a little more than I wanted to. But it was good and it felt really good. It's just when she turned off, when she finished, um, I slowed down and I was like, oh, my joints are achy. So my hips got really tight, my knees got really tight, my ankles got really tight. So that was the, that was most of today, um, just tight joints. So everything was just kind of smaller steps and shuffling, but I still ran the entire marathon and um, my time ended up being 429, which is my third fastest of the series. And I felt really great after. I actually got a little bit of a massage. There's some people there that do massages. So I got a 30 minute massage. So I'm hoping that helps for tomorrow as well. Um, I ended up drinking a little more than normal because of the humidity. Um, so I ended up drinking four quarts of my recharge. And then every, um, about every two miles, I took um, one to two salt capsules. So that was my nutrition for today. And again, it worked really well. It just toward the end, I, I'm starting to feel nauseous. So um, I'm still experimenting with what I'm eating and drinking when I'm doing work, um, long races because I want to really dial it in for my Ironman this year and um, really work out my nutrition. So um, I had awesome Thai food. 
after. So I feel like I'm ready to go tomorrow. So I think that's about it. That's all. That's six, six days down, one day to go. I cannot believe I only have one day to go. And I know I've said this before, but I am seriously shocked that my body can handle this. So I'm really excited to, I'm gonna um, send out a survey to a lot of the other people doing the um, series to get some stats because I wanna show you guys that truly, if this is something you wanna do, you can do it. I'm one of the youngest people out there. So um, I there was like 25 people who did the marathon today, I think, because they just posted the results. And um, I just glanced through the ages and I think there was only a couple people younger than me. So if you guys, I mean, you can do this if this is something you want to do. So I'm going to write a article about it. I'll post it in a couple of weeks because I think that this is pretty amazing. So anyway, thank you guys for being here and for making me sit in this freezing cold ice bath. It totally helps to have something distracting me and that is you. So I'm grateful for you. I appreciate you and I will see you at the end of the line tomorrow. All right. Bye.